just who I was hoping to see, darling. Tell me you notice all those ugly night thorns sprouting around the valley. And how some of the villagers are starting to lose their memories. <laughs> Merlin has the faintest clue what might be causing it. But don't worry, it won't tell him it's all your fault. My fault? Uh... Well, of course it is. <laughs> this village clearly reflects you. Your dreams, your desires, your fears. Oh. But we've all noticed that you haven't been yourself lately. What? No, I'm... I'm fine. You mustn't lie to Mother Gothel. You know how I hate that. But don't worry, there's something wrong with you. You're simply growing up. <laughs> You're finally seeing a world for the cruel and dangerous place it is. Maybe you're right. I always am. Now trust me, after all, we must look out for ourselves. In fact, follow me. You have much to learn. Are you still here? <laughs> I'm just teasing. What a pleasure. Here we are. Now pay attention, dear. These pillars have been here for as long as anyone in the village can remember. <laughs> If you ask Merlin, he'd tell you they symbolize virtues to hold this village together and protect it, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Let's see, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Oh, how that man loves to hear himself talk. Don't insult Merlin. Mm. What a pity. You still insist on defending Merlin even though he's done nothing but lie to you. Huh? What do you mean? Merlin told you that these pillars protect the village, but they don't. They only prevent brilliant people like us from reaching our full potential. Everything he told you about light and dark magic, friendship, trust, and so on. Nothing more than lies to keep you under his control. I don't believe you. Well, there's one way to find out for sure. Rip the orb out of the pillar. Then you'll see what I'm saying is true. Stop, stop. The orb! Darling, you've done it, and not to worry. I'll dispose of it safely. Mustn't let it fall into the wrong hands. Now, see? Doesn't everything feel better without that pesky pillar getting in the way? Hmm. I guess you're right. <laughs> of course I am, dear. I can't wait to show you how much grander life can be when you aren't forced to live under Merlin's rules. But first, you'll have to do me one itsy bitsy favor. What is it? Oh, I do love how obliging you are, Inky Zora. You really should show this side of yourself more often. Now to the task at hand. I'm devastated that I lost one of my most prized possessions. A jewel encrusted Mira. I was admiring myself when I simply dropped it in the water somewhere around here. How clumsy of me! I'll get it, don't worry. But that's why I love you, dear. You did things without asking Bonner some questions. Finding my jewel in Crescent Mirror will be no trouble for you. Simply use that fishy grotty oars in the waters of this area. I'll be waiting for you near the giant willow. Not doing anything suspicious. Ha! I just tease it, dearly. See you soon. Ta -ta.
My mirror! You found it! And so quickly, I knew I could count on you. What's the big idea? The big idea? No, dear, it's a brilliant idea. Oh, don't look so upset. You must stop taking everything so seriously. Now, shall I tell you my plan? You see, Inky Sora, I've always wondered if that dreamlike magic of yours might work like Rapunzel's magic hair. So I borrowed a little book from Merlin, tra traded for a few potions and ingredients from Ursula. <laughs> and now that the magic of the orb is gone, there's something to stop me from throwing it all together to keep you safe in a giant willow forever. Oh. It's for your own good, dear. The world outside is far too dangerous. Trust me, it's better this way. You'll see. In time, that I can be a very loving mother. What did you find in a forgotten second memory? You look as if, as if you've seen a ghost. Not a ghost, just a gothel. She betrayed the forgotten. The forgotten trusted her and she. She tried to do something horrible. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. When we feel alone, that's often when we're most vulnerable. Now, I don't think if this brings us. I don't know if this brings us any closer to saving the valley. For perhaps now you understand the Forgotten a bit better. The Forgotten's pain is becoming so real to me. How could the Forgotten never trust anyone again after what Mother Gothel did? Once all this is over, I'm going to need a little talk with her. Trust is fragile, dear. We must beware. Once broken, it's difficult to repair. Now then, I'm afraid we still don't have all the answers we need. But perhaps we'll find them through this final gate. Follow me. Listen closely, Inky Zora. Beyond the last gateway, you'll find the final lost memory of the Forgotten. Whatever happened here, it changed them into what they are now. I don't think they meant to do any of this. The Night Thorns and the Forgetting... Always seem to be outside of the Forgotten's control. Oh. That's maybe so when one is lonely and uncertain, it is easy to lose your way. Now collect yourself, dear. You mustn't wait. Now go boldly forward and step through the gate. Uh -huh. And if it gets to be a bit too much, just know that I will be right here waiting. You've been so 